Let's make some soap with Soap Lab. Hey guys, it's Trina the J1 Ninja, and my son got this Soap Lab dinosaur soap making kit for Christmas. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Before we open it up, it comes with six soaps, three dinosaur molds, and four colors. Here is the QR code in case you need to find more information on it. And it says, science and fun. Cool, 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 cool. You can read that. Hey, right, so here is the box. Right away opening the box, I can smell like some lemon scent, citric acid scent. Let's just pull everything out. Oh, here are the bars of soap. Oh, we get two chunks of soap. We get popsicle sticks and I don't know what this little thing is. What does it say? Glitter. Okay. I hope it's biodegradable. And here are the colors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are these scents? These may be scents. No, these are colors. I thought it said there were only four scents. Four colors. There seem to be a lot more than that. All right. All right, didn't it say four colors? Yeah, it said four colors. Six soaps. Three dinosaur molds. Okay, so it does come with four colors and it comes with two scents. We have a green apple and a lemon and they smell whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oops. They smell really good. It doesn't feel like there's much in here though. Is there even anything in here? No. These are the four food colorings. What colors were they again? Hey, I forgot to mention it comes with this pamphlet of instructions. So let me read this and we'll get started. This is an example of the molds. There are two pieces that come apart, so I don't know how you're supposed to put Like, this would be good for a bath bomb. I think I would use these for bath bombs. But how do you pour hot soap in both sides and then squeeze it together without it spilling everywhere? Maybe I should read the directions first. Oh, okay. So it comes with this tray. This is called the working tray. These are the dinosaur molds, and there is like a little pour spout here. So you have to do make sure these are closed tight, and you stick this into this slot here, it says. And where's the beaker? Here's the beaker. So here is a beaker. You're supposed to melt the soap in your own container, microwave safe container, and then pour it into the beaker, and then pour it into here. So you melt it for 10 seconds, and then you mix your colors and glitter or fragrances in here, then you pour it in here. And that's basically the gist. I'm going to test this out and see if it works. So here is the block of soap, and each block is actually cut in three pieces, so I guess that's why they say you can make six dinosaurs. And you just break it off, and you melt this little chunk in the microwave for 10 seconds. This is our first dinosaur soap. Sorry guys, I didn't show you the whole process because it was like very time sensitive and then this guy wanted to participate as well. So basically we added red um, coloring, soap coloring, and the apple, what was it, green apple smell? And he mixed it himself, so I had to be very attentive and not film. But yeah, really simple. Microwave for 10 seconds, add the coloring, mix, 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 add the smell mix 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 and then pour it into the spout in here this tray thing is a little bit flimsy like this mold will tend to want to pop out so you're going to want to use one hand to stabilize it and then pour it in hopefully i can film the process for the next one but right now i'm just letting this one cool and yeah it's warm still so we're going to wait for it to be totally cold okay and hopefully hold it centered in place. It's a lot smaller of a soap than I thought. Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? I don't even know if it filled it all the way up. Can't tell. T-Rex! Oh, it's a T-Rex? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I can't tell. Anyways. Yep. Pretty cool though. I can definitely reuse these to make little mini bath bombs in the future. I do want to make bath bombs. 
If you want to see us make back bombs, make sure to thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment down below. But yeah, overall this kit is a decent. The food coloring gave us quite a hard time because even after you open it, like nothing came out and it's too hard for the kids to squeeze themselves and he really wanted to put the food coloring in himself and I even had to cut off like the tip of the food coloring to even let myself be able to squeeze it out and it's still really really hard like I'm using all my strength just to squeeze out one drop so yeah that's annoying this thing right here very annoying but yeah that's all I you can add the color, color make way. sure it goes into the cup please don't shake it squeeze it um, is it working? Is it working, baby? Yeah. Okay. Okay, stop. Let me see how much you added. Okay, go. Add our scent. What scent is this, baby? What scent is this, baby? Uh... Green apple. Green apple, okay. Okay, add your scent. Okay. Hi. Oh, now you mix it up. Like that, why are you mixing it like this? Oh, this is it hard? In slow motion. Oh, it hardened already. So you do have to move fast. I'm there we go. Stir, stir, stir. Huh? What color is it? Can we put more? No, that's enough. We're gonna pour. Oops, see that? The base is not very sturdy, so this should definitely be done by an adult. Okay, I'm gonna find the beaker. Right here, I'm gonna. Is it working? Just a little more. Okay, hold on. Find the hole. Did it fill all the way up? Yeah. Huh? What's that? What? Ugh. It's leaking? A circle. A circle? There. Where? Where? Ta-da! What? Here. Where'd this come from? Uh, what was this from? From the... From the top? Yeah. Up here? Yeah! <laughs> I must have just hardened. Okay, well, we'll save that for next time. So the there we go. And where's the white color? It mixed into the blue. Okay, so it looked like this one leaked out the bottom. Maybe it wasn't as tight as I thought. And on this side, I guess I spilled. And it made this little tiny hand soap, which is cool. But while that is drying, let's unmold this guy and see what it looks like. I think you just pop it open. I mean, hmm, it's still slightly warm. But yeah, we'll come back in and move this in a bit. Okay, here's the first time sword. Just gonna pull this open. Ooh, clean. And then here. I still don't know what dinosaur this is. Baby says it's a T Rex. Is this part part of it? <laughs> okay, guess not. It broke off. Uh, we didn't. <laughs> well, whatever this is supposed to be didn't fill all the way. Oh, it's a dinosaur like these. Oh, it is a T Rex. Oh, but his tail so short. Some kind of dinosaur like this. Unless I broke something off.
fill the tail in it. Okay guys, so these are our finished dinosaurs that we made. We did manage to make a tri-color dinosaur. That one was pretty cool. Overall, they turned out really well and it was relatively simple to make. Just make sure you have adult supervision while using this craft kit. But I definitely do recommend this dinosaur soap lab and my son gives it two thumbs up. I'll leave the link down in the description below if you're interested. Make sure to subscribe, thumbs up this video, leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time. Bye!